Welcome back. Thank you very much, Abir Hussein and Rasha Abdel Hamid, uh, for this report back here in the studio with Dr. Hossein Farahat, Professor of Human Development at the AUC. Um, Professor Farahat, uh, as we heard in the report, Egypt showed a lot of resilience in the face of many challenges uh, uh, in the past uh, few years, but we're still living in, a, uh, in, in the VOCA, in a volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous regional and global atmosphere. So the challenges are so many. Uh, uh, first of all, take us through uh, uh, the, 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 the thinking, the strategic thinking in the new VOCA that uh, we are uh, facing. And perhaps I, I guess uh, uh, we'd better start by defining strategic thinking uh, yes. itself, which, is a, which must have a comprehensive meaning. All right. Uh, uh, as I always say, uh, if you make a definition, a proper definition will lead to analysis that leads to solutions. So we have first to think about what is uh, uh, st the meaning of strategy or strategic and the meaning of thinking and then we can go deeper. Uh, if we th think about the word strategy, uh, the word strategy is coming from the Greek strategia. It's the same as we pronounce it in Arabic, it's, it's strategia, which is the art of war. So it refers to the art of war. Why mm. it is the art of war? If you remember in the old days, uh, the, the leaders... Athens and Sparta. As Athens and Sparta, mm. uh, the leaders would get into the tent with their uh, 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 group leaders, and then they explain to them what will happen tomorrow. So it's, in a sense, they are visualizing into the future. We call it bringing the future now. It, we confuse, most of us confuse between strategy and tactic. Yes. What, what, what you mentioned, isn't that more of a tactic when no. we talk about tomorrow? No, when you talk no. about tomorrow, you are, that's the vision, that, mm. that you are seeing strategy. something, mm. you are seeing something that will happen okay. in the future. So uh, allow but me first to ask you about the difference between strategy and tactic. Sure. Because many of us, I think, confuse between them. Sure. If, if we're talking about the strategy, strategy is the art of dealing with tomorrow the art of dealing with the future. Uh, the word near future, medium future, and long future have no meaning at all. It's something that did not happen, uh, uh, yes. and that's how, how we, we can define it. The tactics are the ways that we will implement in the present, in, the present in such a way that we can achieve the, the strategic strategy. goals. The Understood. goals of the strategy. Understood. So strategy has a more comprehensive, much more comprehensive uh, uh, the, uh, meaning meaning yeah. then uh, then the tactics yeah. of course so if you go to the strategia that's the strategy it's how you can see into the future and my professor always said that this is how you bring the future today as if it's happening now it's not you do not talk about the strategy as it will happen tomorrow it is as if it's happening now that's, that's the, 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 the definition of the strategy and the definition of thinking. It's uh, uh, the art of finding solutions for a specific problem. Mm. So you do not think mm. for the purpose of thinking. You mm. think when you are faced with, uh, with something that you have not uh, encountered before. Mm. So if you are not encountered with anything, then, then that's for you the unknown you're trying to find a solution for the unknown. So mm. that's the thinking. Strategic thinking is how to deal with the unknown in the future, mm. whether it is a near future or a far future. So that's the definition. Naturally, uh, Egypt, like um, any uh, other country in the world, would be uh, uh, embarking on strategic thinking to find competitive advantages, advantages. sustainable competitive advantages. advantages. Certainly, Egypt has been blessed with many, many things that give it by default an advantage, a competitive advantage. Can you talk to us about some of these advantages and, and Egypt's vision, the 2030 vision and the bigger visions, and how are we using our competitive advantage? Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, if we are thinking about the competitive advantage, we have uh, privileges. We, as Egypt, being in the center of, that's, that's what we were told, years and years ago, and still valid, that we are in the center of the Middle East, we are pivotal, 
So uh, all the opportunities should pass through us. If we think about uh, 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 the history, we have a huge history that can attract uh, uh, plenty of tourists. We have the Suez Canal and the economical zone around the Suez Canal, which is a huge opportunity also. Also, uh, we have uh, unlimited resources with regards to the human resources. We have uh, capabilities, we have capable people uh, that can uh, take the country further into the, 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 f the near future, the 2030 uh, sustainable vision. Right. Um, now, Dr. Farhat, uh, let's get into strategic thinking in the new VOCA and let's try to uh, simplify, <laughs> to give a, a simplified, <laughs> yeah, a simplified <laughs> explanation <laughs> for uh, VOCA, volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous. Yes, it, uh, this has started uh, uh, some time ago after uh, the beginning of the cold, the, 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 the cold war between Russia and the United States. The, f the future was unknown. When they, they reached an agreement with Gorbachev, then the, the, the future was unknown. Nobody knew who will be the enemy at that stage. Right. So it turned into a military tour that you are facing something that can change very quickly. That's why it is, that's what we call it volatile. Volatile means that it can change extremely at a high rate mm. with high uh, magnitude. Mm. So, so they are facing, you are, we are facing a new set of variables. So that's why we call it volatile and mm. it can mm. go up and down. The w yes, and, and the word volatile and the way you were um, uh, defining it reminded me automatically of what happens in stock markets, for instance, because wh we hear this word a lot, volatility. Yes. Yes. There is, in fact, something called the volatility index. Yes. And when you said up and down and magnitude and frequency and so on, we, in the times of turbulence, we see stocks go up sharply, go down sharply and, and so on, with rumors, with a lot of uh, other factors. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh, it's, it's again, as, as you have mentioned, it's like that graph. Mm. of uh, we don't know the amplitude and mm. we don't know the frequency. It's mm. totally unknown and totally unexpected. That's, mm. that's where, where, where it is. Then we move into the, um, uh, the uncertain. Be before we go into uncertain, yes. volatile, d doesn't it uh, um, have to do something? I, I mean, when we pass through COVID, yes. wa wasn't this also another example of Ooh, volatility? Yeah. Uh, 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 speaking about this, mm. we resembled the word VOCA from the military, as we said, and it showed very, very uh, 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 deeply during the COVID, because that was something that we did not see before. At least this generation right. haven't seen such dramatic, dramatic effects on economies, on people, on health, mm. and nobody was even aware of mm. what's going on. Mm. So that's, mm. that's, is it going up? Is mm. it going down? Mm. Uh, we don't know how many mm. casualties, how mm. many people are recovering. Mm. Nobody knows. Since so that big working. Spanish... Uh, yes, the, uh, Spanish, the yeah. Spanish flu, something yes. like 100 years back yes. in 19, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yes, so mm. it's, 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 this is, this is uh, we, we were trying to, re, uh, to rely on historical information, mm. but we couldn't resemble mm. what's going on. Uh, and this is what also the, 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 the world of uh, uh, economy and business sometimes calls uh, uncharted territory. We've, we are going into uncharted uh, territory. territories, something yeah. that we have never uh, 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 sailed in before. Right. So that's, right. that's the, the, the word volatile. And yes. then we go into uh, the word uncertain. Uncertain means that you are not 100% sure what would happen next. It may go up, it may go down. Mm. It may be uh, simple and it may be very complex. Mm. So uh, 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 the, the uncertainty is a factor of risk because I cannot plan on things that I do not know whether it will happen or not. So that's, that's where the, the, the word uncertain is, is kicking in. So I understand that VOCA, or I have the uh, sense that VOCA was taken from the military world into the business world? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because, because in, 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 in the war, 
you are uh, making a plan. You are putting a strategy. You're, 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 mm. you're, you're doing something. Mm. And then the next day, your opponent, your enemy, is reacting to this. Mm. How would he react? You never know. Mm. So it's, it's, you have always to be ready mm. for his reflex or whatever mm. his, uh, mm. uh, 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 the, the opponent uh, mm. newer strategy mm. in such a way that you don't know what he will do. Mm. Then you have to uh, redeal with the new situation. Right. It's something like a chess game. Yes. Some sort yes. of a chess game. Yes, definitely. Uh, and the reason why I said, uh, is it now VOCA more connected to the world of economy and business is because uh, the, the word uncertain, I also hear it a lot in, in the world, again, of markets and stock markets. I always heard the expression, markets hate uncertainty. Yes. I, I've heard this a lot. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Mm. And uh, we always say that uh, the, the, the uh, uh, stock market uh, uh, is a coward whenever it comes to uh, to uh, to, uh, uh, to risks so the the, the stock markets are, gets very annoyed if if, if mm. we use the word mm. with the uncertainty so mm. the uncertainty is mm. an element mm. uh, that prohibits mm. the strategists from developing mm. long term uh, uh, programs long term right. tactics right. and this is where the tactics yeah. are kicking well, in also that like uncertainty is the number one enemy Yes. To, to markets. Now, in the world we are living in today, and especially in the region we are living in today, mm -hmm. there are a lot of uncertainties. Yes. Uncertainties, not just economically, but politically, mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of wars, a lot of uh, tension, a lot of uh, alliances being broken up and new alliances being made. I mean, things are volatile. <laughs> Very volatile, mm -hmm. and the, the the thing is that all those elements are uh, external; they are away from our control in a sense. So they are there are political changes, economical changes, socio socio cultural changes, uh, 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 environmental changes. That and you have to deal with all that complexity on the spot. When things happen, then we can deal. I think mm. we, 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 what, what we are facing right now mm. with the situation in Gaza, mm. the, 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 you never know what will happen tomorrow. Mm. And uh, after 103 days right mm. now, mm. E, in every day, you cannot predict mm. what would happen tomorrow. Nobody knew that se the 7th of October was going to happen. I mean, yeah. And the reflex. No, yeah. no one thought reaction, that the yeah. reaction and the reflex mm. Uh, mm. from the other party right. uh, is is extending for that long. Mm. So mm. it's it's that's mm. a, 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 a clear example of mm. how the Volker is. Mm. Uh, of course, we pray for the um, uh, people of occupied Palestine and the innocent victims, the civilians, the many, the tens of thousands of women and children, women and children, who have lost kids. their lives and. Uh, been injured and, and those who are lost in the face of the brutal aggression of the Israeli um, occupation. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Farhat, uh, you mentioned complex. Complexity. Uh, yeah, yeah yes. complexity, uh, because a lot of elements are, are being brought up, uh, some that we could have predicted a, a few months or, or a few years back, but others that are coming in almost every every other day yeah. the, the 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 complexity uh, things have not been constant since the start of uh, the coronavirus mm. or the uh, covid 19 mm. Mm. Uh, we had a year of ambiguity a huge ambiguity what would happen and then next year we Russia started Ukraine. to see mm. we started to see that there are solutions mm. and then we have seen the uh, russia ukraine conflict that was never uh, uh, also predicted predicted one more time so economically uh, uh, the world not only Egypt not only uh, the region have been hit hardly economically from those two uh, uh, situations together if you would remember the uh, the ship that uh, 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 blocked the Suez Canal mm. some three years ago mm. and uh, it stayed there for almost 10 days evergreen I think, ever or ever given it's it's yeah. it's uh, the ever given yeah uh, it blocked the Suez canal for a couple of weeks what happened to the supply chain worldwide right 
nobody oh. could expect mm, that this may happen. Mm. So it's, this is, mm. this is uh, a new set of mm. strategies mm. are being deployed mm. in the world after that incident. Mm. And even since the start of the Israeli war on Palestinians, not just in Gaza, but in the West Bank as well, in occupied uh, East Jerusalem, Al-Quds, South Lebanon. Uh, what, what happened in the Red Sea a, a few weeks later uh, uh, was, was unknown. I mean, yes. because w uh, things weren't complicated or complex in the Red Sea until weeks after the, the war started. Yes, yes. And, and so that was and a new element. N nobody could have predicted mm. that, that, that this would happen earlier in the game, mm. earlier in, in, mm. in, 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 in time and during October. Nobody thought and that, have this, that this may happen. Mm. And mm. have this effect uh, under, undermining the, the, the uh, capabilities mm. of people. Mm. So it's... it's, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's being uh, mm. uh, uh, getting up and higher mm. for reasons that uh, are mm. beyond our uh, expectation and are beyond mm. our control, in mm. a sense. But mm. it will affect us. Yes, it will mm. affect us. But I can assume that uh, mm. uh, 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 General uh, Rabia th th this morning said that uh, as long as we are uh, higher than 50 percent of uh, the level of the Suez Canal, we are in, 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 in still in good shape, which is. Now we have we, we, we can predict again we can mm. predict what mm. we can do and what we cannot do. So it's right. it's again it's 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 very complex. Mm. Uh, many uh, uh, it's parties. affecting the whole world. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm. It's it's it's, mm. it's basically if if you think about uh, 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 getting uh, uh, products from China to Europe, mm. uh, how much the cost mm. is, how mm. much the un insurance on ships is. Mm how much time it takes. Mm -hmm. and how More time, higher cost. Uh, uh, complex, extremely, rising. Yeah. E extremely complex. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about, uh, mm -hmm. the, I, I work in the supply chain. That's, that's, that's part of my uh, uh, work. It's, it's extremely, extremely complicated that you are turning around. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's being tough. Again, and complex, as, as we can see. Ambiguous is the f uh, final uh, word of uh, Vogue. The definition, yes. Ambiguous. Ambiguous is you are subject to huge risks because you do not see clearly what's next to happen, what's, uh, uh, what will be the outcomes, what would be the new uh, the new norm. If, if, if you can remember when, when we started, we had the norm and then we had the COVID mm -hmm. and we had an, an, a new norm after COVID. Right now in the universities, we have a new norm. We have still online right. is, is there and face-to-face -face is there. So it's, it's actually, that's what the we new call norm. the new norm. So mm -hmm. nobody, again, nobody could think that mm -hmm. this will be the new norm. That's the uh, ambiguous Mm. part of mm. of the the mm. the the the, the, the voca that mm. you are not you are not certain what mm. would happen it's not uncertainty ambiguity mm. you do not see mm. in the future it's yeah, like it has something to do with vision so you have a blurry vision yes you have a foggy vision yeah uh, it is as if you are driving in the fog mm. Mm. You, you nothing cannot, worse than that by the way yes yes mm. So you can never, you can never expect what mm. would be, uh, uh, what's, what's will, would, what would happen tomorrow, mm. in a sense. I, I think m uh, most of the world, the countries uh, must be now, you know, getting into the strategic thinking <laughs> of how to deal with the new VOCA. Yes. Because we are seeing volatility, uncertainty, yeah. complexity, and ambiguity uh, in just about everywhere in the world. Yeah. Well, well uh, the strategists and the, the, the book authors, the academia, uh, they have come with a new, what they called the VOCA prime. What is the VOCA prime? This is the solution to the VOCA situation. Mm. So what is the VOCA prime? The, it's, it's again uh, a crony. It's, it's, you should have a vision. You, you, the, the strategist should have a vision, a clear vision. What are the values of the organization that we are leading or the country we are leading or whatever? What is the vision? Where I want to be in the future? I have to make it very clear.
to myself as a strategist and to my team that where are we heading? What are we standing for? What are our priorities? So, so the first thing is to have a, 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 a vision, a clear vision. Again, there is what we call the understanding. What is the understanding? Is getting to know, is getting to know and to understand the consequences. What's if? Earlier, before, we, we used to say that we have uh, what we call the, uh, the uh, contingency planning or uh, plan A, plan B, plan C. Right now, we have to understand that we are working on the go. We are working on a very liquid, very dynamic situation. So we have to understand this and accept that there will be damages. We have to accept that there will be damages. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, if you prioritize right, then the damages will come into the things that are not with priority. I hope it's... Uh, no, I, I, I can relate to that even on the personal level. So yes. you are saying that it's no longer about plan A, B or C, C. but because the situation uh, and situations are so fluid, mm -hmm. then you're just on the go, sometimes with your uh, intuition, you don't know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but you, you're just on the go and you take it from there. That's it. And then you start to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. What is communicate? Mm -hmm. Communicate. Tell mm -hmm. your team. Mm -hmm. those, those are, this is my vision. Mm -hmm. This is how I see it. Uh, this is how I understand it. Make them understand what you understand. That's, that's where it, it, it should kick in. Because in this case, the team will buy in the decisions being taken and they will buy in and absorb the risks and the negative outcomes. There will be negative outcomes, but, but your team, your family, their families, they have more uh, important issues than the vision. They have their families, they have their living, they have their things, so, so we have to communicate, communicate, communicate continuously. That's I, what, what I always advise the companies that I am working with. Tell the people, we are in a tough situation, tell the people. Mm -hmm. for them to be prepared mm -hmm. and for them to kick in with ideas uh, and, 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 and prevent uh, um, uh, ex, ex, extra damages that are caused by external elements. So that's communicate, communicate. Uh, uh, people in, in, in general uh, do not care uh, how much you know until they know how much you care about them personally, so mm. care, care, communicate, show them that you care. Well, mm. we are in this together. But I grasp from your uh, words, uh, Dr. Farahat, that even we as uh, people, yes. not just, you know, states or organizations, but even families and even uh, us individuals, we must uh, embark on, on this VOCA and, and have a strategy mm -hmm. and have tactics and weigh the risks and and sometimes just take it on the go because it's fluid and so on. That's we that's must. Uh, and sometimes we, we do this while we are not aware that the, we we are in this frame. Subconsciously, yeah, subconsciously. subconsciously. Yes, yeah. yes. Because well, that's basically the academia uh, stipulates the things that we do by nature. It, 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 we only show it to, to the people that do not have it by nature, if mm. you know what I mean. Yeah. And yeah. reflect it on organizations. Yeah. But, but if, you th if you think like, mm. like family, uh, mm. family uh, issues, mm. you have to be extremely strategic as well. And we are very strategic. We think about our kids. We think about their future. We think mm. about, we don't care about, some people think about money and some other people say, uh, think about education mm. and success and, mm. and, and finding a good mm. job. But mm. every... Uh, family, every organization, that's what I call it, every mm. organization have its own set of goals. Mm. Let me return to the last word, yes. to be agile. Mm. Agile means that we have to be on the move. On the move. Mm. Uh, flexible. Uh, take sets of action. And if it doesn't work, very quickly work on, yeah. on, 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 a on, new, on, on a newer version yeah. of what you have done. Mm. This is flexibility. This is, this is not uh, 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 non-adherence 
to the the, the, mm. the original thing. Or non-compliance or non-discipline no, or so. Yeah. Generally, this mm. is what we call refining the mm. steps that we are mm. doing every now and then. It's, it's very good that you made it clear because so, some of us indeed would have immediately thought, well, this would mean I'm undisciplined or because there is a school that say, stay disciplined, stay with the plan, don't change Enjoy. course for whatever uh, um, reason. Yes. So we have to be agile. Yes. Now, I I'm really enjoying this conversation, but time is running <laughs> yes. out. So the strategic, the stages of the strategic thinking process. Yes. In, in this. I think you talked to us about some of them, but please. I will. Uh, they, are four, they are four steps mm. that we sh you should be uh, mm. uh, aware of. Mm. Number one, we have to do what we call the uh, the uh, environmental scanning. We have to see what we can do and what we cannot do internally, and we have to see what would happen uh, uh, in the external world. Like as I, I ha as I have mentioned before, so you have to be aware of what's happening and how can you. Uh, deal with uh, what's uh, uh, what's happening. So that's the environmental scanning. Then we kick into the 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 uh, strategy uh, formulation. Where in the strategy formulation, you put down those in those ideas into uh, uh, on work on 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 paper steps tactics. This is uh, you put the tactics in, and then you the, the third step is the strategy implementation. Work, work, try, and see where you are. And that's where uh, uh, feedback and uh, 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 control comes in. You, you see what kind of results? Is this the result that you are looking for? Or you have to change again into the environmental scanning, maybe mm. something that you did not see. Mm. Maybe uh, y you have to re-strategize the situation based on the VOCA that we spoke about. Mm. M uh, maybe during the implementation, we did not have the tools that can help mm. visualize the strategy mm. or uh, uh, get the strategy mm. in, in action. Mm. So it's, it's a continuous process mm. that you, are, you have always to do it. Well, before, we used to, to, to strategize or, or do this every quarter or biannually. That's, that's how we do it. Right now, I can assume that we can work on daily basis. Mm -hmm. We have to rethink mm -hmm. and revisit mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. on daily basis. In fact, we, we remember for that for years we, we've, we've lived like with a three-year plan or the five-year year plan, plan and so on. But now it has to be, you're saying it has to be updated on a more regular more basis. More regular basis. You cannot... Because in, we are living in, in the VOCA. In, again, mm. in the VOCA. So mm. uh, we are getting this from the, the project management schemes. Mm. Uh, we, we have the, the agile project management. In mm. the agile uh, project management, we have mm. what we call the stand-up. Stand-up at the beginning of the week. And then we have a sprint. We do things throughout the week. And then we have another stand-up next week. Mm. So the, 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 period, the period where you, you, you analyze what you do and then you see what kind of results that you could achieve and what kind of changes that you will implement next week. So we don't wait till the end of the month or the end of the quarter or the end of the year. We work by the end of every week. Which is uh, there must be a lot of reflection, a lot sure. of analysis. Now, one final question, Dr. Farhat. Uh, Whenever we, we talk about strategy, whenever we talk about setting goals, legitimate goals, uh, th there is always a conflict between being uh, realistic and, and, uh, but also having uh, uh, um, uh, um, um, you know, ambish and being ambitious. 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 How do we solve this conflict? Because sometimes people will tell you, you're not realistic. Sometimes you're not ambitious. So how do we solve this conflict? Because there seems to be an eternal conflict between the two. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I, speak, I speak to most of uh, 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 my students on the motivation. You cannot motivate people with setting low goals, with no ambition. Naturally. Yeah. They will never be motivated. Mm -hmm. And if you stick to very high goals that they cannot achieve, they will get demotivated. So we have to, 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 to carefully uh, discuss our internals, what are our capabilities. And we try always to give the, the, the organizations that we are leading some edge to uh, stretch, 
the capabilities, mm. stretch mm. how people are doing it. And this is the only way because mm. do not It's a fine line, you. Dr. Farhan. Definitely, it's yeah. a very fine line. But mm. if you are knowledgeable about your team, mm. about the situation, about mm. the external factors, it comes to be automatic. It kicks in easily uh, as long as you are doing it on a, on a weekly basis or whatever. Dr. Farhat, really enjoyed having you. Dr. Hossein Farhat, uh, Professor of Human Development at the American University in Cairo. Thank you very much for your time and your insights, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Hope sir. to see you again. Good Hope job. to see you again, dear viewers. Thank you for watching Business Insider. Please stay with Nile TV International. Goodbye.